So out and about again. I'm on the northern side of um, Cumbertine National Park. So I'm going to crisscross it, go over and end up down sort of on the Wilson River behind Telly Point. So it's about 80, about 90k ride, but she's um should be through some nice country and some of the roads or a fair few of them I haven't been. So let's see what happens. Yeah, so I've come uh, probably about 50 metres, 100 metres up the first sort of mountain. Is uphill, probably doesn't look it. But um, yeah, we will continue up here. Get up to Cooperbung Range Road, I think it is. So I'm on Bellangara Road now. So yeah, pretty well just winding up the hill. Road seems okay. Nothing too scary. I've been on this this one. But once we get up to the top, it's all new for me, some of them. Alright. So there we go. So coming down to a creek by the looks of it. Or at least a causeway. Damn. All floods that rip through here. See by the banks. Maybe it's Piper's Creek. I don't know. If you go down, you gotta go up. So only gone a few k's so far. GPS is wanting to switch itself off. Oh no. My favourite sign. Oh dear. Well, let's see why it's closed. Nothing's easy. There's quite a few roads here, so it depends which one they mean. So I've just got to go around here. Sort of turn back on myself. Back to Marla Road. But if I follow this road, this is Cooper Bung Range Road. You end up at, um, well, go through to Wachitran. And beyond, but I'm going to turn left, head towards Rollins Plains. Here's me turn off. So far it's been alright in here, a bit sloppy but nothing um, nothing bad, you see you get used, it gets used a bit, but uh, yeah I was expecting some of these bridges to be out, wow, oh awesome, that's pretty cool, those rocks, just the slopes on them. It's almost like a natural dam. Alright, so we're still on, or well now we're on, or we're about to get on, <laughs> Clarefield Dungy Road. So maybe that's Dungy Creek. So I've got most of the way across the mountain. 
it's only sort of steep on that northern side. I'll say that and you watch what happens. Oh, into the slop again. one of them national parks very few people go in but good to know it's here so now it's getting a bit clearer might be near a farm or something slow down in this clay so this road oh we're out of the oh god it's sloppy that one This one they put a bit of gravel on. Yes, yeah, so I'm hoping to get to a couple of these sort of rocky pools on the Wilson River. I've been on the Wilson a few times, but this this time I'm on the um, sort of the northern side of the river, which I've never been to. But on Google, it just looks like nice big rocky pools so hopefully I can get close to them or ride to them or get within walking range but they look pretty cool on the map so all right we shall keep going Oh, come to oh my god this is like ice come to somebody's farm nice and quiet out here like checking out these sorts of things you just try and imagine the flood water that charge through these places crazy cool Old causeway is getting lower. <laughs> so I'm not too far out. Out from um I want to go on this road called Little Little Loop Road, I think it's called. So I'm gonna go on that to get me to um GPS. Yeah, to get me up to Rocky Road. Sure where I'm at now. Once you slow down, you can sort of appreciate where you're at. But that's some pretty good looking country here. So he's come to a nice little creek. I'll work out which one it is soon, put the bloody name up because 
I should know what they what they are. Oh, I like these river rocks, they're cool. First little stony creek. You dug out there. Nice little hole. find the Wilson this would flow into it but it's definitely not the Wilson <laughs> a bloody whole heap of pumps there cool surely this is the Wilson That is nice. Getting a bit dark, but that is nice. Awesome, on the right track. Let's go up and find a more remote pool. What's the sign say? Surely. That's it. Wilson. So now we're back on Upper Rollins Plains Road. Cool. Bit of tar then back in the forest. stuff around here would have had a hard time back a few months alright pretty damn up we go so good seeing stuff you've um, never seen before never been on Never seen any of this river other than way up there in the forest. Uh, you probably, yeah, so this sort of lower stuff, it's all new. And you can see the road's all new too. It's sort of been all washed away not too long back. All ripped apart. Keep going. Okay. I'm guessing. Whoops. This one's Rocky Road. idea what condition this is in all right don't have to go too far I'm just trying to get to this little section up here Okay. I got a feeling I'm going to go bush bashing. 
this um oh fuck it out because Yeah, but I'm going up and I want to go down. That is a rough ass track, that bit. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Let's have a look at this. It's a bit sus. <laughs> you see, a few people have been up here. Yeah, we're getting some bloody height. I can hear the water down there, but I'm just getting higher. Yep, yeah, that'd be unnerving with the four wheel drives. I'll keep going. We're getting closer to this spot. If it's no good, back I go. So 900 meters, and it's um, you don't look down. 900 meters to where I wanted to get to. Jesus, 900 meters of chaos. Yeah, it said it was unmaintained, so it probably hasn't been touched since the, since the floods. So yeah, 250 odd metres left of the old rocky. Sort of runs into a Jennings Road. Jennings Road goes up the hill. I'm not going up there. Well, we're coming down anyway. A little bit closer to getting the water. Damn. Oh, getting there. Down to get inside <laughs> the hill. I see. Well, that's as far as I'm riding. So I got down here, got down the stairs, duck through a few trees, but um, you know, keep looking at the ground. She's nice. It's a bloody good swimming pool here, I'll show you.
Pretty cool in here. Hopefully they had a bit of a look around. The drone sort of showed it off. Hammered by the sun. <laughs> but no, it's nice. Definitely um, see yourself swimming in there on a hot summer's day. Alright. Get my way out of here. It was nice down there. There's probably heaps of different ways to access this river up and down. Some more challenging than others. But for a start, that'll do me. <laughs> That's challenging enough that road. Oh, a rocky road, sort of half a road. Alright. Pretty organised. Yeah, if you look, campfire spots. So like this track here. Uh, so that could just go to another section. Or that one. Keeps going. Definitely lots to explore if you keep looking around. Go back, might go back to that one of them first bridges and have a bit of a chill. Get a bit of food in me. And like that, you're out. Back into the valley. Bit of an ugly spot, but it'll do. Might be able to tolerate it for a while. Get a bit of vitamin C in me. But yeah, definitely good to get out and about. And that's what these bikes are for, so we use them. Isn't that rocky run over there? Awesome.
Uh, it's a pretty good little spot to have a bit of a break. So I've got lots of these farm roads to go to get home. Not going to go over the mountain this time, just take a more less, I don't know, physical run, just a cruisy sort of ride. Get to relax a little bit instead of hanging on for dear life. <laughs> Alright. A few k's of this, not sure yet how far. So this is Upper Rollins Plain. Probably only a kilometre out from the from the mountains. And she's nice. 